Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a regular meeting of the panel of utility commissioners and staff of the Public Utilities Regulatory Authority, held today, Wednesday, April 20th at 10 a.m. by remote teleconference. My name is Chairman Marissa Gillette, and I'm joined virtually today by my colleagues, the Vice Chairman Jack Lukoski and Commissioner Michael Perrin, along with a number of authority staff. Uh, so we have a regular agenda as well as a consent calendar in front of us today. Um, before we get started with our regular calendar, I do wanna uh, uh, provide notice that we are postponing the second item on today's regular calendar, which is docket number uh, 211013, uh, colloquially known as the Pegpedia um, uh, decision. Uh, notice was provided to as, um, applicants for that docket earlier this week in the form of a, a motion ruling. Uh, so we refer folks to that motion ruling. The item um, has been deferred to next Wednesday's regular meeting agenda. Uh, so to repeat, docket number 211013 uh, has been postponed to next Wednesday, April 27th regular meeting. So with that announcement, I'll turn to the remaining item on our regular calendar which is docket number 210701, the application of the Connecticut Light and Power Company and Yankee Gas Services Company, uh, each individually doing business as Eversource Energy, the United Illuminating Company, Connecticut Natural Gas Corporation, and the Southern Connecticut Gas Company for approval of arrears forgiveness programs uh, for the 2021-2022 calendar years. Uh, we are here this morning uh, to receive presentation regarding the recommended final decision in this docket. Uh, we will turn to uh, authority staff, uh, Ms. Stephanie Cohane for a presentation uh, of the recommended decision from staff. Great, good morning, commissioners. So this decision concludes the authority's second phase of this proceeding, which addresses the various compliance filings that were submitted by the electric distribution companies pursuant to orders issued originally in docket 17-1203 REO-1, which is the energy affordability docket as part of the equitable modern grid proceedings. So on July 14th of 2021, the authority established this proceeding to review and approve the proposed 2021 to 2022 arrearage forgiveness program plans, which are sub submitted jointly by the electric and gas distribution utilities I'll refer to them as the companies, pursuant to section 16262CB5 of the General Statutes of Connecticut. Then on August 12th of 2021, the authority bifurcated this pr proceeding into two phases. The authority established the phase one as the review of the company's proposed 2021 to 2022 arrearage forgiveness program plan and issued that interim decision directing modifications to the plan on October 13th of 2021. So in this decision, the authority approves a number of things. One, the establishment of a centralized data reporting platform or online data dashboard for energy affordability. The decision also directs the electric and gas distribution utilities to offer flexible payment arrangements for customers that constitute a reasonable amortization agreement, which is in accordance with section 16262C of the General Statutes of Connecticut, as well as Section 16.3.100A.11 of the regulations of the Connecticut state agencies. The, the authority also approves modifications to the company's medical protection web portal and associated customer communications pertaining to medical protection. In this decision, the authority also directs modifications to the United Illuminating Company's Voluntary Arrearage Forgiveness Program. This decision also contains rulings on motions number eight and 13 that were filed in this proceeding. In addition, the decision establishes an annual review proceeding to address energy affordability and related matters, which will include a review of the proposed annual joint arrearage forgiveness program plans, which will be submitted jointly by the companies by June 15th of each year. And then finally, in an effort to streamline these no numerous orders that were issued across four interim decisions in docket 171203 REO1 and in um, to be consistent with the previous year's <clears throat> arrearage forgiveness plan review in docket 
number 200704. This decision hereby rescinds various orders that are either reissued or otherwise modified in this decision in order to establish a more consolidated and comprehensive annual review process of energy affordability matters in the state. So with that, staff recommend this decision for the panel's consideration. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ohane. Is there a motion? I move adoption, Madam Chairman. And second. <clears throat> Thank you. The decision has been regularly moved and seconded. Uh, if there are no questions or comments, I would seek uh, to take the roll, please. Uh, Mr. Bumpin? Okay. Uh, Chairman Gillette? Thank, uh, um, thank you, Ms. Lipley. Yes. Vice Chairman Bacopi? Yes. Mr. Karen? Yes. Thank you. Uh, the decision for 210701 has been adopted uh, with our thanks to Ms. Cohen. As, um, as I stated at the outset of the meeting, docket number 211013 has been uh, delayed to next Wednesday, April 27th, regular meeting. So we will move next to our consent calendar. And there are 14 items on today's consent calendar. So I would seek a motion. I'm chairman of move today's consent calendar items one through 14. The second man, chairman. Thank you. Today's consent calendar has been regularly moved and seconded. Uh, uh, with that, I would seek the roll, please. Chairman Gillette? Yes. Vice Chairman Bukowski? Yes. Mr. Karen? Yes. Thank you. Today's uh, consent calendar has been adopted in full. With that, we have, each, we have reached the end of today's regular meeting agenda. We will adjourn and reconvene next Wednesday, April 27th at 10 a.m. by remote teleconference. Thank you and have a great day.